Hello, in this video we're going to look at utility maximization with natural logs. Here's our utility function in natural logs. The consumer has income of $67.50, price of good X is $7.50 per unit, and the price of good Y is $5 per unit. Forming the budget constraint, Income equals the price of good X times units of good X plus price of good Y times units of good Y. And in order to do the utility maximization here, I'm going to review the derivative of a natural log. So let's say Y equals the natural log of G of X. So we got this function G of X here that we're taking the natural log of. So taking the derivative of Y with respect to X. There's basically two parts here. We're going to take what's in parentheses here, what we're ever taking the natural log of, and we're going to move that into the denominator. And then we're going to take the derivative of what's in parentheses and put that result in the numerator. So to get the marginal utility of good X, we're going to just follow this rule over here. So what's in parentheses, we move that down to the denominator. And then we're going to put the derivative of x, which is just 1, in the numerator. But that 1 is being multiplied by 2, so that's where this 2 is coming from. It's 2 times 1. The marginal utility of good y. You can take the partial derivative utility function with respect to good y. So again, following this rule of taking the derivative of a natural log, what's in parentheses, we move that down into the denominator. In the numerator, we're going to have the derivative of y, which is just 1, and that 1 is being multiplied by the 4 out in front here. So we got our marginal utilities. Now I'm going to create the marginal rate of substitution by taking the marginal utility of good x and dividing it by the marginal utility of good y. And this will simplify down to y divided by 2x. Setting this marginal rate of substitution equal to the price of good x divided by the price of good y. Plugging in our prices and we're just going to solve this for y. We're going to get y equals 3x. We're going to take this result now and we're going to plug it into our budget constraint. So where we have y we're going to plug in 3x. And now simplifying we're going to get x equals 3. And as we saw in the last slide, since y equals 3x, and x is 3, y equals 9. So that is our utility maximizing consumption bundle. The consumer will buy 3 units of good x and 9 units of good y. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.